Jesus says, come to me all who are weary and heavy laden and I will give you rest. Do you believe that today? Hi, my name is Keith and this is my daily walk. My morning devotions brought me to Matthew chapter 11 and at the end of the chapter, Jesus is saying one of the most popular Christian um, verses that bring comfort and peace to the believer. But I don't believe it's only for the believer. I think it's a call to the unbeliever to come to him. Let's start by reading the verses this morning. Matthew 11, verses 28 through 30 say this, Come to me all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. <clears throat> As I look at the first three words that Jesus says in those verses, come to me, I think of it not only for the believer, but for the non-believer as well. When Jesus is saying, come to me, he's saying that if you don't put your trust in me yet, that I will take that burden of sin and that burden of guilt and the burden of shame and I have already died for that. I have already paid for that. I have, I have taken that burden from you. And I want you to take the burden that I have, which is a light yoke, which is not a burden at all. Jesus says, come to me, my yoke is easy, my burden is light. And so if you're not a believer today, he says, come to me and enjoy the gift of salvation that I have for you and release the burden of sin and the burden of bondage. I think he's giving us that invitation to take the things that are weighing us down as if you're an unbeliever and just saying, I'm here for you. I died for you. For the believer, he says, <clears throat> come to me and I will give you rest for your soul. If you're a struggling believer today and you're weighed down by religion, by feeling like you don't measure up, like you aren't doing enough, like you really need to just keep doing more for Jesus to earn your salvation, to keep in the faith. Jesus says, come to me. My burden is light. My yoke is easy. That I will give you rest for your soul. We're living in trying times right now. We have a global pandemic. We have political unrest in our nation. The world has seen things that haven't happened for uh, centuries, if they've happened at all. And the challenges for small businesses and people losing their jobs and all of the things that are hitting us as families and losing our freedoms and, and people dying. And we have a lot of burden that we seem to carry. But Jesus doesn't want us to carry those burdens. He wants us to cast them onto him. And so today my encouragement to you is if you feel like you're carrying the weight of the world, if you feel like you're carrying the weight of your family or your friends, you feel like you're <clears throat> not measuring up, to take those feelings, those hardships, those challenges, and give them over to the Lord. He cares for you. He loves you. He wants you to be in Him and walking in hope and walking in peace and walking in joy not carrying the burdens of the world on your shoulders. Jesus is gentle. He says, I am gentle. And I encourage you today to just cast your cares upon the Lord. For he is gentle and meek and loving and compassionate. He knows what you're going through. So if your yoke is a little heavy today, I encourage you to take the yoke of Jesus. If you're a non-believer, I encourage you to cry out to him, to say, Lord, Lord, I need salvation. I need your peace. I need your joy. I want to serve you all the rest of the days of my life. And if you are a believer, I encourage you to just lay everything that you are carrying at the foot of the cross. And if you're doing great today, praise the Lord. Come alongside someone that you know is struggling. The Bible says that we should bear one another's burdens. And so today, if you're a believer and you're not feeling like you have a heavy yoke, then go help someone else with theirs. Go encourage them today to lay their burdens at the foot of the cross. 
So if you're fretting today, I encourage you to stop fretting about the elections. Stop fretting about the pandemic. Stop fretting about what's going on in this world. Unplug from social media for a while and just rest. Rest your soul. Jesus wants your spirit to be rested. It'll give you an opportunity to pray. It'll give you an opportunity to read your Bible and to just really have just sweet communion with the Lord. So that's my encouragement today. Just lay it all down before the Lord. Take on his yoke. Stop fretting and just give everything that you have to the Lord. He will give you peace for your soul. And lastly, I appreciate you joining me today on my daily walk. If you like what you see or hear, then I encourage you to subscribe to my channel that you'll share to uh, your friends, your family, people that you think could use an encouraging message each day. And if you want more from what uh, I've spoken about today, you can find it on mydailybibleverse.org. There you'll find a daily Bible verse uh, that goes a little bit more in depth in this video. And so I just really want to encourage you today to walk daily in Christ, to love Jesus more than you love anything else in this life, and to just grab a hold of him and see where he takes you for 2021. I'm going to pray today. Lord, I just sense today that there's many people who are weary, who are hurting, who are anxious, who are struggling, who have a heavy yoke, Lord. <clears throat> I pray today, Father God, that you will lift that burden from them, that they will lay it at your feet, that they will take your yoke because you are gentle and you are loving and you are kind and you bring peace and hope and joy to our lives. So Lord, as I lift up these believers and non-believers to you, I pray for those who don't know you, that they will come to a saving faith, Lord, and be able to have fellowship with you for all eternity. And for those who do know you, Lord, I pray that you will just encourage them today, that your spirit will fill them, that they will be seeking after you wholeheartedly. And all that they do today, I pray that they bring you glory. I pray, Father, that they find your peace and your joy throughout these uncertain times. We love you, Lord, and we give you praise in Jesus' holy and precious name. Amen. Amen. Have a great day.